Hi everyone, welcome back to the Vidoji Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. So we are going to do a quick exercise and if you want to become a good developer, the more you actually develop, the more you have hands-on experience, the more you read code, the more you Google to understand how the concept works, the better developer you are going to be. So the first exercise that we are going to do is pretty simple. We didn't talk about everything that we are going to do in this exercise, but then this is the, the, the thing that we developers, we have to do all the time is searching. Not, I would say not always, but uh, it's quite frequently the times we get some tasks that we are not able to actually solve just with what we have in memory. We do have to do some research. We do have to check documentations, Google, and we have to be able to figure out. So developers, they are problem solvers by nature. So we have here the problem in the Visual Studio code. So basically, we are going to follow these steps. The secret for figuring out what to do is it starts slow, start step by step. If you do not understand everything, just try to understand the minimum possible from the problem. Because sometimes you read all of these and then you start getting like nervous. It's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to, to start. So what I can tell you is start from baby steps. Try to do something that you know and then you try to go to the next step. If you don't know how to do the next step, you start searching on Google how to figure it out. So the first thing that we are going to do here is create a class called exercise age difference. So you go through all the problem once and then you start doing step by step. Then we have to create a variable that can store the first age and assign some value. So the exercise, there, there is no description for it. So we don't know what the exercise is doing, but just by reading here on the line number two, the name of the class, we already know what this exercise is trying to do. So after we have the first variable, we are going to create a second variable to store the second age, and also we have to assign some value. And then we have to create a third value. Actually, we have to create a third variable. You see, sometimes the things don't work properly when you are writing. So create a third variable that will be the difference between first and second age. And then we are going to print in the console all the ages and the difference between those two ages. Now, try to do this exercise. I, I just advise you to pause the video and try to solve, and then you check your solution against mine. Even if the solution is not exactly the same, uh, there are, of course, the right and wrong answers, but sometimes you can solve the same problem correctly using three or four different ways. It doesn't mean that it's wrong. So sometimes the one is a little bit more, let's say, performatic. It's a little bit faster. Sometimes it's more readable. But if you can do something different than what I'm doing here and then you watch the solution, now you know two different ways of solving the same problem. Okay, so let's do this. I uh, will copy this exercise age difference. And I'm coming here, new Java class. Or since we know how to use a shortcut, I'll insert Java class and then exercise age difference. Okay, so we completed the first step successfully. Now I know from the previous videos that to do this, I need to have something that will be the main entry point. So the main entry point for my program will be the public static void main. So PSVM and then press tab. Now that I have my program running, you can press Control Shift F10 to make sure that nothing's wrong if you want. But now we know that we can start. So basically we have to create a variable that can store the first age. Now here it's up to you. What do you want to store? Do you want to store as byte? Do you want to store as short? Or do you want to store as integer? So let's go with integer because when you think about ages, we remember whole numbers. And then we have age. So you could put A1. Is it meaningful? Definitely not. So if you put A1 here, we would need to write it down like age 01, or this is the first age. So why not just write it down age 01? And another option could be first age. So first age, I think in my opinion is better, but you can do it differently. And then we can assign a value. So Basically, the exercise is saying, hey, you just create and then you assign some value. And then I move on to the next step, create a second variable to store the second age and also assign some value. 
now here int second age and then i have here another value now that we successfully finished this second one what do we need to do we need to create a third variable that will be the difference between first and second age so this is something that we did not talk about so how can we actually store the difference so if i do this int and then uh, we can write here age difference now don't do this let's do this uh, 20 minus 10 so this is wrong even though if you read here you are saying hey create a third variable that will be the difference between the first age and the second age well technically if you read here is the first age and the second age but we have a like a huge problem and this is why it's not right let's just print this so we will see Control shift f10 okay so the age difference is 10 now it's correct but the problem is we are not doing it correctly because if i come here and i change here to 30 it's supposed to be 20 but what's going to be in the console is 10 so what do we have to do here we have to use the variables so what i'm going to do here is the following instead of using the value 20 i'm going to use the first age reference so what's happening here let's go to uh, draw.io okay and now they are black i'm not sure why but i believe everybody can see so i'm going to delete all of this and i'm going to explain remember we have here our nice memory right and inside the memory we are creating two spaces so we have this first space and we have this second space in memory how do we know what we have inside these spaces because we are naming so this one would be the first age and the second one will be the second age so we have two names here that are the way we can access this variable so first age down here and then second age down here okay then we are storing 20 here and we are storing 10 here now we need to get the difference so what i'm going to do is we have a third space in memory let me call this one so this third space that we have in memory we are basically first giving here a name that's age difference so just coming back to what we were doing so come here so this is what they did first age 20 second age then age difference and this is what we have to figure out so how can we solve this basically we have to do hey you space in memory you will be what you will be the difference between whatever is here in this space and whatever is here in this space so how can we do this how can we get the values that we have inside this space well we already know the same way we are printing these values so basically what i have to do the age difference here it will be something like this it will be the value that the first age is having inside its memory minus the value that the second age so basically this is how it should look like because when i do this i'm telling hey whatever you have inside the first age memory you are going to get that value and then you are going to subtract whatever you have inside the second and then here then we are going to have 10. if we change here to 30 then this one will be 20 because now you are not working with what we call hard-coded values what you are working now is with the values that we have in memory they are dynamic values so first age and then second age so i have now three spaces in memory the first one is starting 20 the second one is starting 10 and then the difference is the value that we have uh, here in the first minus the value that we have in the second so if we execute now we have the same 10 but if i change here to 30 we have 20 and if i change here to 40 we will have 30. so basically it doesn't matter the values that we are adding there it will always be dynamic 
and this with this we kind of already solved the, the whole exercise now if we come here we are creating a third variable that will be the difference between the first and the second age so even though it was not saying that it should be the difference using the variables this is something that you as developer you should try to figure out so for that is a very famous saying that when we are working with customers we say that the customers they do not know what they want so we have to figure out what they want for them and then we have to print in the console all ages and the difference so here again to print since we already have here let's just start again i want to print first age so i will just add here a nice message first actually something interesting here if you just do first age plus second age plus age difference what's going to happen here java it can understand that this is a numeric value so when java sees numeric value the plus sign will be used to sum these numeric values but the thing is this is a java thing if java sees like a string it will just change the behavior and say hey now i don't use this for math purposes i should just use as concatenation sign and then you are going to see here control shift f10 that we have a concatenation of those values so this is something just that it's how java behaves so what we have to do here let's give some nice messages so for example first age and you can leave the plus then you can do and one uh, print or you can control D control D so we have here second age and change here second age and we change here age difference and we have here age difference so for example if you do not use like a variable let's say here that I'm adding here for stage you will see that IntelliJ has this uh, name in gray this means that is never used so it's just like a reminder for you hey you create this variable here but they are not being used above or below actually you cannot use above but it's not being used below so what you are going to do you can either remove safely so when you see something like this you can remove safely but the problem is we need so we just have to add here age difference and then control shift f10 so the exercise does not tell to use one or two or three out print ln so we can do the way we want and in the end we have the results we have the first age we have the second age assigned and then we have the age difference and we are printing the values so we did step by step and we were able to finish our exercise so i hope you enjoyed see you in the next video bye bye